23,000 volts comes out of the turbine and then goes to the generator breaker. You know where that is physically at the plant. Flipper, you got it. Second floor on the west side. Second floor over by the 181B heaters. That kind of behind the condenser there. Oh, by the ground? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So there is a ground disconnect and funny keys. Keys. Yes. So there is a ground disconnect, which we shut during uh, maintenance because 23,000 volts, even if you get like a you know, a half a percent on that, they'll still shock somebody pretty fucking good, right? That's still 200 volts. And then, so you ground out the thing so that none of that happens. And then, this guy is closed when they're running. We have another disconnect that creates an air gap between the generator and the yard. So it's still 23,000 volts. And then we go to the switch yard. Uh, another transformer. Change colors here. And then another breaker. Air disconnect. And there's off to the grid. All right. So this is the, the main transformer, the generator step up transformer, GSU. On day shift, we take readings on it, get the temperatures on the oil, on the winding, and check the oil level. And uh, what is it? What is the voltage on the high end side? Five hundred thousand PV. Five hundred and twenty thousand volts. Why do we want this voltage so damn high? So you can put it on the grid and put it second of that out. Okay, that's true. Why did the people that designed the grid? Decide to make it so damn high. Because you want to move voltage as you're driving up, so you compensate for the, uh, the resistance of the grid. That is a good answer. So the higher the voltage, the less current it takes to move the same amount of power. So the less current you have, the less heat losses you have. So. The higher the voltage, the farther you can send it without losing it. It's like pressure in a pipe, right? Volt voltage is to electricity as pressure is to water. All right. So this 23,000 comes down and goes to another set of transformers. We call these the auxiliary transformers. There's two of them. High side is 23,000, and we're stepping it down to what? 41. 43. No, 4160. 41. That is one of the two answers. 13. And 13.8 kilovolts. Why are the transformers reading different readings? Is it only one of them? The auxiliaries. They're always different. They're doing the same thing. One of them, 
done something different or okay all right so they are doing something slightly different because if you think of your 4160 loads we've got three condensate pumps you're only running two of them right you've got uh, five mils you're only running four of them so that probably that isn't it because we're typically running Alpha Bravo, Delta Echo, and those are opposite sides. Uh, you're running one main compressor, and that's 4160, right? You're running two compressors out back, two out of three, that could uneven your load. So there's, this place is not designed to keep exactly even loads on both of those things. There's so both of them, each switch gears on each transformer? Yeah, so you got two transformers, and two So both these transformers are not pushing to some central point where it evens out. These are separate switch gears, separate headers. Does that explain your question? But there's no 13A on the other. There, there is 13A yeah, on the other. There is 13A on the other. That's why we separate equipment. So in case that one transformer yeah. you know, goes out, you know, there's one on the other side. So what is... Our 13A equipment. All the fan motors, uh, surf motor, okay, so motors. Motor space pump. So ID fan, primary air fan, four strap fan, surf water, surf water, and boiler feed pump. A side and a B side. And you got a main breaker. And each of these have breakers that you can rack out. 